This dump in Bütelborn in western Germany just might store the remains of a nearby nuclear power station. The mineral waste we get usually ends up in the landfill. The 3,000 tons of material is only very low-level waste, say the authorities. But even that is too much for many locals and the company boss. There's clearly an acceptance problem, but also a problem about the level of radioactivity. Some studies show even low radioactivity is dangerous. And especially dangerous considering the dump will close in 2030 to become a public park. For locals, there's no question of living atop the remains of a nuclear power station. This local collective group holds regular protests against the project. Farmers, ecologists, retirees, all brought together by the same cause. I'm scared for me and for my kids. We know full well that some things that are presented as being without danger can actually have consequences 20 years down the road. This kind of thing happens in agriculture. Our goal is to get the waste to go to a place designed to store dangerous products or even better, that it stays on the site itself. As it turns out, there's lots of room, 30 kilometers away, around the power station being dismantled. The reactors were switched off in 2011 as part of Germany's exit from nuclear energy, decided after the Fukushima disaster. A temporary storage center was built here in 2006. Locals think there's an easy answer. All the radioactive waste, whatever the level of radioactivity, should be stored temporarily here until we find a permanent solution. We should have thought about this 40 years ago, but we didn't. And now people tell us, sorry, we don't have any more time, so we're going to spread the waste across the country. That's not a solution. And that's the heart of the problem. Germany has no permanent place to store nuclear waste. Waste whose radioactivity is of medium and high intensity is stored in 16 temporary centers above ground, most located close to reactors being shut down and dismantled, or slated to be so. That makes for 27,000 cubic meters of highly radioactive waste, and by 2080, an accumulation of 620,000 cubic meters of waste with low to medium radioactivity. This area in Gorleben was long expected to be the final resting place, but that changed in 2020. The mine over there wasn't made to extract salt, but to store highly radioactive waste. It was the persistence of activists like Wolfgang Emke that killed the project. But people here still have to live next to a temporary storage facility with 113 containers of highly radioactive material. A ticking bomb, he says. These containers are getting old, and we have no idea how long they will last. What's more, the site should be protected from catastrophes like plane crashes or terror attacks. There's no flight restriction on the airspace. In the Gorleben region, there were years of demonstrations to try and stop the burying of waste in the salt mine, a site now recognized as unsafe. But the authorities are still looking around the region and have set a 2031 deadline to find a permanent storage site. Four underground clay areas in the region are considered to be possible sites to bury radioactive waste. So we're not finished here. The search for a site continues, and we hope that this time the process will really be conducted according to scientific criteria. According to an initial report, more than half of German territory meets the geological criteria for storage, soil composed of salt, clay, or granite. But according to this independent expert, actually building a site and transporting the waste to it could take until 2090, and temporary sites are only meant to last for 40 years. When it comes to nuclear reactors, everyone thought you could shut them down and everything would disappear in 10 years. We are starting to realize that this is not the case. Like France, Germany is still looking for a permanent storage site and is now realizing it's very urgent. Germany's last reactor shuts down at the end of next year. But the search for a place to store the radioactive waste created in 60 years of producing nuclear power is far from over.